Hey everybody, BDCool213 here, and welcome to my walkthrough for Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. And I'm going to be playing the 1.5 HD Remix version of this game. So let's get this started. So yeah, a few months ago I played uh, Kingdom Hearts, the first one for the first time ever, uh, when I did a playthrough of it. And I enjoyed it a lot, but it wasn't the first Kingdom Hearts game I ever played. I played, uh, the first one I played was Dream Drop Distance on the 3DS, and... That kind of got me into the series, and I wanted to check out the first one, you know, for the first time, and it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm looking forward to playing this game now, and some of the other games before Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. All right, here we go. Let's start up a new game here. And just like I did the first Kingdom Hearts, we're going to play it in proud mode. Uh, vibration on. All right, let's do it. Along the road ahead lies something you need.
However, in order to claim it, you must lose something that is dear to you. Hey, you think it's okay to barge in? But we gotta do it if we're gonna find the king. The king? King Mickey's here? Something just told me he'd be here, okay? Really? Cause now that you mention it, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Seriously? Me too. One look at this castle, and I just knew. Our very best friends. They're here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Guess great minds think alike. Wait, hey, hold on. It can't be just a coincidence. Oh no, Timmy. You don't mean that. Yep, I had it too. Mm-hmm. I had the exact same feeling. Gorge! Maybe it's contagious. No, no, something screwy. We gotta go take a look. All right. Ah! Where are you going? That way, to the door. <laughs> are you scared? Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go, Goofy. Hey, fellers, uh, shouldn't we shut the door behind us before we go? Sora! That's it. Who are you? <laughs> I should think it's obvious. The moment you set foot in this castle, you forgot every spell and every ability you ever knew. In this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. That is the way in Castle Oblivion. Castle Oblivion? Here you will meet people that you have known in the past. And you will meet people you miss. I miss? Riku! You mean Riku's here? If what you want is to find him.
What'd you do? I merely sampled your memories, and from them, I made this. To reunite with those you hold dear. What's this? A card? It is a promise for the reunion you seek. Hold the card to open the door, and beyond it a new world. Proceed, Sora. To lose and claim anew. Or, to claim anew, only to lose. Huh. Come on. Let's go. Alright, so we have, uh, this is what's called a world card. So right now we only have one. And it's for Traverse Town, so let's go ahead and use it here. So this is pretty interesting, the way we uh, do battles in this game. So we have to use those cards there, and this guy's gonna... I think he explains it right now. So let's keep reading here. Okay, so we're gonna use a Donald card here. I'm just gonna summon Donald. Gonna use a Keyblade yeah. card here. Target lock. So yeah, it's possible to use up all the cards. Uh, we only, I guess we only have 11 right now. So once I use them all, uh, I can actually reload. You guys will see in a second here how we do that. 
All right, there we go. All right, so right when we have it at, a, at that specific card, uh, you have to hold X and it'll reload. And it has a number, so now that number changed to two. And basically we have to fill it up two times, you know, the next time we do it, to get our cards back again. And then I think, it, and then after that it goes to three. And I think that's the highest it goes, I'm not sure if it goes even higher than that. But, uh, but yeah, if it's a three, then you have to reload three times and then you'll get all your cards back again. But yeah, I was... I was surprised, like, this is the way that you do battles in this game. It's really different from the first game. But it's still still pretty cool, I gotta admit. It's pretty cool. But it did surprise the hell out of me. I was like, whoa, wait, we're using cards here? Oh yeah, and you cycle cards. Left with L1, right with R1. Oh yeah, like you said before, pressing up on a D-pad will put you at that, at that card that you use to reload your cards again. Yeah, if you press select, you can get a different set of cards. So right now we have a phantom card. I think this... I forget if this increases your... Um, uh, I guess the value, it puts the value at a number higher. So like if, if, if the card has a 1, it'll increase it to 2 if I activate that phantom card. I, be, I believe that's what it does. Not sure. Alright, let's strike the barrel. Yeah, what do we got here? Blizzard. Oh, nice! Okay. Yeah, I didn't get that early the first time. <laughs> That's cool. At least I don't think I did. Q. 
Okay, and I think we're about to get into a battle here as soon as I pick this up. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so I gotta throw it at that Heartless there. Hopefully I can stun him. So yeah, if I, if I manage to hit him with this box, then he'll be stunned and then I can go in for a hit. And then when we go into battle, then he'll be stunned and I missed. <laughs> Crap, I missed. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else around here I can use. Alright, well, let's see if I can hit him here. Oh, he's not moving. Oh, okay, we're gonna... Oh, there we go. I was about to say, he was supposed to go into battle as soon as I hit him. Oh, he's still stunned. Okay. Alright, let's do it! See, I think some of these enemies actually... Yeah, okay. So they do summon cards as well. So if they summon like a card with a number two on it, and I use a card with a three, or a zero, because I think zero can actually break everything, I believe. Um, yeah, let's say they use a number a number three card, and I use a number four. Then if I use that four card, it'll do a card break, and it'll leave them open for an attack. So that's something I gotta keep an eye on. Let's make sure whenever they do that. There we go. And yeah, you can combine cards to get like a higher value, or sometimes, like I just did, with uh, with those two goofy cards, it'll do like an even more powerful attack. Do I have to press triangle for that, I guess? Yeah, triangle, I think. I think is what I did. Oh yeah, and at the end of every battle, you get like these different types of cards that you don't use in battle. And you use those cards to open up doors, like the door I'm about to open up right here. This as well. Oh, it doesn't have anything. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. So, to proceed to the next room, you need a map card, which we have. Map cards are used to synthesize new unexplored rooms. First, select the map card you want to use as the controls. Oh. Uh, and I guess we'll choose this one. So yeah, we need a card with a number one or higher, which we happen to have. A criterion displayed now means that the door will open with a with a value of one or greater. So, so I'm trying to pick the card here. You need to pick the card that means this criterion. Cards have marked values from zero to nine. Zero cards are special cards which meet most criteria. A card without a marked value is a key card. Key cards are only used at special doors. So let's go ahead and use this one here. And let's go inside. Okay, and there we have the save point right there. So, so far from, from what I've played, I've, I've played this one and i played Another World, and it looks like there's only one of these in each world. But I'm not sure if that'll change, you know, later on. Because I haven't gotten too far into the game yet. Okay, let's see here. Let me check my deck real quick. Oh yeah, and here's the map screen. Uh, I didn't mean to go here, but... <laughs> but yeah, that's the map screen in case you guys were wondering. For those of you that haven't, that haven't played this game yet, this is what it looks like. So, this little blocks represents, you know, each one of the locations that we go to. In this in this world, so we gotta head over here. I think we gotta go here first, and then from there we go left. Uh, let me see. This is what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can. I should be able to add some more cards to my deck. That's a number four, so I'll just put it right here, I guess. And then Blizzard. Blizzard can go at the end. All right. No enemies here? Yeah. Alright. I'm not gonna save my game yet. I'll yeah. wait till later. Let's go ahead and open this door up. Okay, so right here we, we need a card with a number two or higher, or zero. So 
There we go. We got one. Let's go ahead and use it. See, I don't think those cards... I don't think we do, we ever use those in battle. So those are mostly used for opening up doors. From what I've seen. Alright, I know there's got to be some enemies here. Better watch out. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this guy with the barrel. I can just see him. Oh! Oh, damn it. Kind of wish you could target when you're out out here in this world. Like you could target during a battle. There we go. Oh, I thought I actually had the Phantom card. Huh. Grab that goofy card. I think they disappear after a while. Nice, we got two. Let's go ahead and combine them. For the goofy tornado level two. Nice. Okay, so the level two lasts a little bit longer than just the regular one. Heal up here. And I don't think I want to use Blizzard on the blue ones, so I'll just use it on the red one. Alright, that gives me all my cards back. Or, I think some of them. I think it's mostly the attack cards, the card that I use right there. That's it. So yeah, like I said before, I was surprised how the battles were in this game. Alright, so we get a little bonus once we when we level up, so right now I'm gonna get this a slight. Which is basically a, a move. A move that you can do in battle. So right now we got the sliding dash, and basically I think the way you activate it is by using... Yeah, it says right there, activation, three attack cards of the same type. And I think I have to get the value of from 10 to 15. So, for example, I can use uh, three five number five cards, like the ones that are shown there in the example, and that'll equal to 15, so that'll give me the sliding dash. And to do that, I have to press triangle like three times, you know, to get a value from 10 to 15. But I think when you do that... Uh, I believe when you do that, the first the first card that you use to, you know, stack them in three, I think that card does not come back even when you reload, I believe. So let's try it out here. Oh, that's too much. Hold on a second. Let's do four, four, two. There we go. So we got the sliding dash. And there it is, and I only got one guy. Not the person I was targeting, but still got the job done. Why is that not hitting him? Oh. Huh. Alright, let's get him. Let's get that goofy card real quick. Yeah, I'm not sure yet if they disappear after a while. But just in case, I'm gonna get him. Alright. Got another one. There we go. All right, we got a Donald card. And we level up again. Nice. All right, let me go ahead and use it. Wait, wait, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm still trying to get used to these controls. All right, there we go. I didn't mean to put it like that. I wanted to just, just use it right away. Oh, I didn't attack him. Oh, that's weird. How come Blizzard's not hitting him? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to get used to the controls. <laughs> Alright. Let me use this Donald card here. Let's see if he attacks him. Because yeah, he usually heals and then he does a magic attack, which he just did right now. And we got another one. Nice. Oh, very nice. Alright, I gotta reload here because I'm out of cards. Let's get this last one. Alright, so I think what I want to get right now is CP boost, so uh, basically I think what that does is that uh, allows you to have more cards in your deck. So you use those points, uh, let me show you guys real quick. So I don't have any cards right now that I can equip. So right right here, where, right above where the little hand cursor is, it says CP, so it says 255 out of 300. So I've used 255 CP, I think that stands for card points, I'm not sure. But if I had a couple of cards on the left side, and I equip them 
onto onto the right side, then it'll start using up, you know, or it'll start filling up the the value of 255 until it gets to 300. So, in the middle right there, I th I believe, yeah, the CP where it says in the middle for this card is 19. So if I add another one that said 19, it'll fill it up. It'll add 19 to the 255, and you know, and so on as you keep adding more cards. And then if you get to a point where you, uh, you know, you get close to like 300, let's say, for example, then uh, if you try to use another another card with a CP of 19, you, it won't let you equip it because it's, you know, too many points. There we go. Got him. All right, let's get these bastards. So I don't have any cards, any enemy cards. Huh. I can't remember at what point I got that enemy card. Nice. Am I doing this wrong? Let me see. Oh, I don't have the Blizzard card anymore. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Zero can break it. Right? <laughs> yes, I think it did. Alright. Still got him, though. Nope. Oh, we got some more heartless here now. Oh, that wasn't enough for sliding. Damn it. For the sliding dash. Whoops. Yeah, let me call Donald. Hopefully he does lightning. Let's use it again. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna get an HP boost right now. Now that I leveled up. Okay. There we go. And let's continue here. There's gotta be a few more enemies. There we go. Oh, okay, so hitting them also makes... It stuns them as well. Okay. So I don't really have to grab a box and throw it at them to stun them. Donald here. Nice. Okay, let me try this again. Let me target the, that enemy. I want to jump up and use it. Hmm. Maybe I didn't jump high enough. I'm, well, I'm not sure. I thought I was actually getting them with with that uh, with the Blizzard card. Forget if these boxes have anything in them. Okay, I think that might be it. Alright, let me... Let me have a look at the map real quick. Okay, so we gotta go there. Wait a minute. Does this mean that I forgot something back here? There's like a card floating right there. Damn, let me go back and check real quick. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is my first time playing this game. Like I said, I've only played... Well, I played uh, 3D, uh, Dream Drop Distance, and I just recently played the first one. So, yep. Now I'm playing this one for the first time. Or for the second time, I guess. Since, <laughs> since I like to go through the, the games, you know, one time before I do a, do a playthrough of them. Uh, but it doesn't seem like there's any other cards here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's indicating the save point. I... I hope that's what it is. If I miss something, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> uh, but then again, I could probably come back and get it, right? I'm assuming. But all right, let's let's uh, let's go on to this room over here. Let's open this up. Okay, so... 
So yeah, now we gotta use that, that card with that key symbol. You need special cards called key cards to open these doors. So the key card, am I right? But just having a key card isn't enough to open the door. So we gotta use a key card here and a card with a value of one or higher. Pick map cards that meet the criteria and you can open the door. Okay, so we need a card with a one. Let's see if we have one by any chance. All right, what's the lowest one I got? I guess I'll use a three and this one.
All right, I guess he's going to teach us how to protect ourselves in battle. So yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. So playing a card higher than your opponents and breaking through their defenses is called a card break. Playing a lower card results in your attack being deflected. So yeah, if, if I uh, if I use a card with a lower value, then I'll be open for, for a hit. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the enemy's card is higher. Whoever's on the losing side of a break is left wide open to attacks. So yeah, there you go. Don't let that person be you. Cards with zero as their value are special. No matter what card the enemy plays, you can break it with a zero card. Okay, so there we go. There's that. But if you play the zero card too soon, the enemy can break it. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't... I don't remember saying that, but alright. There you go. Stock cards. Okay, so yeah, this is where when you press triangle to stock three cards. Stocking cards and using them in threes is much stronger than using cards individually. So I guess you get a higher value out of it, so... Let's use... Ah, let's put whatever. Oh, we got sliding dash. Alright, and then we use it with triangle again. And then if you want, uh, like I did before, we can use two. It doesn't have to be three, we can actually use two. And then we press uh, L1 and R1, I believe. And now he's talking about the slides. So yeah, so far we've only learned one slide. Oh, and here, here's going to tell us one bad thing about it. Every time you use stock cards, you lose the first card you picked. You can't reload it. So yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. The last card won't return until the end of the battle. So yeah, yeah, you could get it back, you know, after the battle is done. So yeah, you won't lose it forever. You'll get it back after the after the battle's over. And yeah, it's possible to run out of cards during a battle as well. If you keep if you keep stacking them, uh, the first card that you use to stack it. It'll be gone for the rest of the battle. So yeah, that was one mistake I made the first time I played this game. Ah, we got the Simba card again. Yeah, with the same value, I think, is what I got last time with a 6. Alright, I'm going to add that to my deck right now. Okay. I'll keep pressing select. <laughs> Start. Here we go. So, edit deck. It's got a value of 30, so I have enough. I have enough CP to equip that. And there we go. Oh, wait a minute, you know what? I don't think I ever checked this. Let's see. Slights. Oh, okay. Crowd roar. Huh, okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was possible to get more, Sim more Simba cards. Alright. Let's keep going here. So we're back here again, and now we're going to head over here. So let's go! You know, I'm not sure what it means where... Um, I don't know if you guys saw on the bottom right-hand corner it said Tranquil Darkness, I think? I'm not sure what that's about. 
I figured that out. So let's see, I need a card with a three or higher, and uh, let's use this one. Six. Now it says I'll I'll come make waking. Is that like the car that I can get in this section or something? Oh, got a nine, a value number nine card. Let me go ahead and equip that if I can. Eighteen. Uh, damn, I don't think I have enough. Nah. Oh, I do. Oh no, I don't. It went up to three hundred three. Yeah, it's not enough. Maybe I should just get rid of something with a lower value. Wait, what am I doing? Uh, like this one. How do I remove again? There we go. And then I want to sort it. Oh wait, I'm going to put it at the top. It's going to be the first one I want. There we go. Alright, looks good. Actually, hold on a second. Looks like I got a few of them. Oh yeah, let me use a Simba card here. Show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, pretty good card. Well, from what I've seen so far. I'm sure there's going to be even better ones. Nice. Nothing in the box. Yeah, I wonder if I ever get anything yeah. from these. Hmm. Okay, so I think we're going to be heading to this room here, but let me take care of the enemies that are in this section. Wait, have I ever yeah. run into these guys here? I don't remember if I did. Oh, let me use a Simba card. Power. Hopefully they don't break it, because they can actually break this these cards as well. If the value is uh, is higher than six. Oh, it didn't use magic, or it didn't use a magic attack on him. Got some Moogle yeah. points, which I guess it's for a shop. I haven't yeah. gotten that far in the game where I start spending those those points. Yeah. Actually, I'm not even sure if I can spend them right now. I haven't looked into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn it! All right, there we go. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That was gonna be more enemies than that. Okay, so it looks like I need 30 points to level up again. Yeah, I like how it tells you after you're after you're done with the battle. Yeah. Like how many points do you need to level up? Apparently I need 30. Oh, I should have used Simba while they were stunned. Let's see what we get from this. Uh, I guess nothing. Oh no! You know I'm wondering, do I actually miss out on that card? Because I don't know. I don't know if you if it'll automatically collect it, even though you went into battle before grabbing it. Probably not. Uh, yeah, because it's gone now. Oh, that sucks if that's the case. Should try to grab it before, you know, going into battle there. Alright, I think that might be it. Just make sure. Sometimes they might pop out if I go into, like, the corner or something.
I guess that's it. Alright, let's open this door up. So we need a number three. Three or higher card. I guess we'll use this four here. And we need the Key of Guidance card. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the map real quick. So now we're going to be going up here. Alright, so let's go up one room. Let's say I checked this yeah. one already, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, we need a car with a seven. Oh, wow. Oh, happen to have one. Let's get ready for some more enemies. Oh, there's yes. one. Hopefully I'll level up right here. Nice. Sweet. Alright, so... Yeah, let me use HP boost. I guess next time I'll do a uh, CP boost. What the hell? I don't want it to hit him. There we go. I don't want to get hit by that thing. 
or touch it, I mean. Oh, there's another one. I want to try to always get the first hit here. Oh, yeah, I don't want to use uh, Blizzard on the blue ones. Let me use Simba. Oh, there's more. Crap. I thought that was going to be it. Evil darkness. Donald card? Alright, let's use it. Hopefully he summons lightning. Oh, what the hell? Freeze. Get my cards back here and start using them again. So yeah, it doesn't that didn't get me back the Simba card or or Blizzard, or the healing cards. Teeming Darkness. Okay. Got another Cure card. But it's them all. Yeah, it looks like it did. Nice. Yeah. All right, here's the door we're gonna be going into. As soon as I take care of everybody here. Wait, let me grab that. Oh, it's another... Oh, I thought that was another Donald card. Ah, that's goofy. Yeah, let me use this one. It's a number nine. Oh, nice. That was really good. Alright, 31 more points to the next level. Then I'm going to be using that for CP, unless I get another slide that I can get. Alright, I guess... That was it. Let me just make sure. Okay, yeah, that was it. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice, another one. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the store. Let's see, we need a green card. So, we'll use this number one here. And the key to truth.
Alright, time for a boss battle. Time to fight this guy again. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should start off with Simba here. Hurry. See if that works on him. Uh, I don't know if it hurt him. Huh. Well, maybe it did. I was targeting something else. Maybe I hit another part of his body. Crap. Oh, wait, I got a Donald card to use it. Maybe I should try the sliding dash and see. Wait, wait. Let me get that. Wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, I got this before, I think. I don't remember if I used it. Oh, that's right. It did that. Okay. Let's get him. Nice. Oh, another one. Sweet. Get him with the Simba card. Let's see if that hurts him. Let me see. Oh, it does. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if it did. All right, now we got to reload twice, and we got another. Oh, we got a Donald card. Something else fall out? Oh, another one of those. Well, hopefully this will finish him off. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get some CP here. Up to 325 now.
All right, well, that takes care of Traverse Town for right now. So I think there's another room that I can't get in yet. Oh, nice. What do we got here? Another Keyblade. Kingdom Key. Okay. So... Oh, I haven't gone here yet. Actually, I'm going to go there, but I can't get into this room yet because I need a, a special card, which I haven't gotten in my first, my first time playing it. But hopefully I'll find it. Let me go ahead and edit my deck here since I leveled up. This one's 30. Yeah, I have enough. So this one slightly extends the range of attack cards. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip that. And I got 323 out of 325. Oh, I only have two points. Enough for two? Alright, never mind. I don't think I'll be able to use another card. Okay, let me let me go in here real quick. Fight any enemies that are in here. Nine or higher, jeez. Really? Do I even have one? Oh, I don't. What the hell? Okay, so I guess the number changes every... Well, every time you play through this. Because... I don't know. I was able to get in there before. Huh. Alright, well, it looks like we'll have to come back later then. Yeah. Alright, let me go ahead and save my game here. 